Welcome back to Evangelism for God, the channel that exposes Satan and his devices for who he is, and the channel that's a no judgment channel that talks about issues that the Christian, many Christians in the church community run away from. Now let's jump right into what I want to talk about today because this is a serious topic. This has been going on for decades, what's been going on about falling away, people turning away from God. And then more and more so in 2020, we talk about the pandemic, we talk about the conflict, we talk about all these other issues, but there's something going on where there's a whole lot of people turning away from Christ and God. I've read some articles and some studies. I've made a few videos about it, about some studies that is showing that people are turning away from the faith. Um, just 20 years ago, there's a big, about a tw quarter of, uh, about 25% difference of people that once believed Jesus and who he is in God, and now they are believing otherwise. And I'm going to share with you, I have my own in my notes. This time I told you I'm going to bring my notes uh, to kind of share things so that I don't forget. Now, I have a bonus, two bonus tips of why people are turning away from God. I'm going to share the first one right now, and then I'm going to run through and put give you the 10 quick points of why people is what's going on. And then at the end, I'm going to give you the last bonus tip and that's a little summary. I'm going to try to do this without taking too long. So stay with me because it's very, very important. And one of the main number one reason uh, bonus tip wise is why people are turning away from God in 2020 is because I have in my notes and I talked about this on a previous video that the church has turned away from preaching against sin. And that you don't get no more Holy Ghost preaching where you allow the Holy Ghost to convict and convince a person to turn away from the lifestyle or the things that they are doing. You don't get that no more in this modern society right now. Things have changed with the church community. People are so concerned about their attendance and uh, keeping the messages uplifting and flowery, but there's no preaching against sin. How can a person be changed if they are not taught about their wrongdoings and turned the other way? When's the last time you've heard a sermon of somebody preaching the Ten Commandments? You can make that a message, one each commandment, each week for 10 weeks. You don't get that no more. So that's the bonus tip. Now let's go up, jump right in. To the 10, I have it here, 10 favorite myths people believe about Christianity at this stage. That set the foundation. You don't have the preaching of sin no more. So people are basically just feel like they can do whatever they want to do. Number one, people are believed that Jesus is a, was a great, only a great moral teacher. Studies just show that. There's a recent study that says that 52% of Americans and 30 a uh, percent of evangelicals believe that Jesus was basically some type of moral teacher, that he was basically just almost a regular guy. Unbelievable. Number two, there's no evidence that Jesus rose from the dead. People are, you know, where there's no evidence. We don't know him. We haven't found his body. There's no evidence of all of that, that he never rose from the dead. Number three, science is in conflict with the Christian faith. That's another whole nother issue. And I can talk about a whole lot and elaborate on a lot of this. And I'm going to put these in the description so you can go back with those scriptures. So you can go through and study and reference for yourself and let the Lord reveal to you um, uh, the understanding he wants you to understand fully from this message. Number four, it doesn't matter what you believe. All religions are basically the same. I've been talking about this for weeks. That's another part of the study. That same study showed that most people, even evangelicals, are starting to believe that all religions are the same and that we can reach God, the same God through various religions. That is a lie from the pits of hell. Satan has blinded people to believe that we all are one big happy family. No, we're not. And I'm going to say this. Some people might not like to hear this, but it's the truth. Everybody's not a child of God. 
if you have not given your life to the Lord, if you have not allowed him to fill you with his Holy Spirit and repent from your sins and your ways, you're not one of his. And that's what the Bible says. I'm, I'm just the messenger, so please don't shoot me. But number five, Christianity is just a crunch for the weak. You hear that? That's going around a lot. Uh, uh, and then number six, people become Christians through social conditioning. That's a big lie that's floating around in the black community. Oh, it was beaten into you through slavery. Uh, it's pounded down your throat, all this and that. And you guys ought to turn away from that. And unfortunately, this young generation, the millennials, they are. They're turning away from God because the parents have turned away and everybody's turning away. And number seven, Christianity strikes person's freedom. People think that if you're a Christian, you, you strap on balls and chains and that life is going to be doom and gloom. Freedom comes with Christ. The Lord says, place your burdens upon me. He lets us know, he cast your cares upon him because he cares for us. That's freedom. Why take worry and, and, and carry the load for yourself? Why do that? When you got somebody that says, bring it to me, I'll fix it. I'll show you how to work it out. Number eight, Christianity is outdated, outdated and irrelevant in, irrelevant in this modern times. People figure, oh, Chris, you know, that was your grandma yeah, and, and, and grandma's mother and all of that. That stuff is, oh, we don't need religion no more. We need to be able to do what we need to do. There's different things now. Science is telling us otherwise, this and that. That's this old tiny. That's, a, that's a, why one of the reasons people are turning away. Christianity is still relevant today. Christ having God, you want to know why it's chaos in this world? It's because God is not in the picture. Number nine, the Bible's unreliable not to be trusted. How many times have you heard that from people? To say, oh, man wrote it. It was God inspired. God, yeah, a man wrote the, with his hand, but the Holy Spirit was guiding that person that, that wrote the word of God. This is God's inspired word. <laughs> it's, I can go into that much further, but we don't have time for all of that at the moment. And here's another one. Number 10, all evil and suffering in the world proves that there's no God. You hear that a whole lot. Such and such, my family member was murdered. Why all of these poor people? Why this or that? Why would God allow something like that to happen? If it was a God and he cares, if he was real, why would he let that happen? You know, unfortunately, for those of you that may not uh, know the Lord that's listening to this message, or though we know that God didn't do evil. He didn't do evil. A lot of these things you see is because of us. We make the choice. And unfortunately, Adam and Eve made the bad choice and allowed sin to enter into the world. And because of that, man is evil. And that was the reason why Christ had to come back to redeem us, to straighten things out. But until we are, he comes back and take us away from good, Evil is going to be on this earth. Sickness is going to be here. It doesn't make God less of who he is. He's still almighty, all powerful, all knowing. He's still in control, even though it looks like it's out of control right now. So these were the 10. Now, let me give you the second bonus of why people are turning away from Christ, turning away from God in this modern in 2020. Christians, I've talked about it. People don't want to hear it, but Christians are hypocritical. Christians living in a way that's bringing shame to God. This is why people are turning away where people look and people are watching us. They're watching these Christian leaders that's on TV. Many, and I'm getting ready to make a message. You stay with me. I'm going to make a message that people are probably not going to like, but I tell you, I talk about issues that the church talk about. I'm going to call out somebody very prominent 
that's in the Christian community, and I'm just going to speak boldly what the Lord has placed on my heart, the matter of fact, today about this, because too much of it is going on with people in high places, Christians in high places, that act like they uh, uh, are better than everyone else, that, that they are so exclusive with them in their little group that no one else is welcomed in. No wonder nobody want, don't want to come to Christ. No wonder people want to turn away from God. That's, one, that's a problem. So stay with me. Satan is on the prowl and he's working it up right now. As we go into the fall and into the end of this year, 2020, he's pulling so many people away and turn away. That's great. Satan loves it. If you turned away, he loves that. That's what he wants. He wants you to turn away and continue to walk down the road you walk because why? You won't be able to fulfill the purpose that God has for you in your life. You will be blinded. And if you are not saved and don't know the Lord, you're going to fall off the cliff and you're going to spend eternity with Satan himself because you allowed him to deceive you. Don't let him deceive you. Don't let him, don't you be responsible for helping somebody else walk off the cliff with your hypocritical life. Don't do that. Try to live the best way you can. Ask the spirit to guide you. Pray for your family and friends. I'll continue to pray for you guys. But until the next video, hit the like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.